Hey guys, how is it going? Good afternoon. I hope you're all well. Yes, if you didn't see my latest video, the title was Big Announcement Coming Soon. What is it? Well, I guess you know by the title of this video, I've come back into teaching. No, I'm not pregnant. A lot of people have been leaving that comment. Yes, I have put on weight. But I'm not pregnant, thank you. And I'm not getting married either. I will one day, like I'm engaged, but that's not what the big announcement is. The big announcement is I've gone back into teaching. Now, before we go any further, I want to bring your attention to this article I've been reading. So this article is from the October 2022 edition of Trucking Magazine. This one here with the King's Truck on the front. And apparently, DVSA have achieved a sizable increase in driver testing. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the past 12 months, you may not know that the HGV testing has now been changed. So previously, like when I did my driving tests, you would go and do your couple and uncouple and your reverse. Then you'd do your on the road test or you'd do your on the road test. Then you couple and uncouple. On the same day. Now it's changed. Now, since the driver shortage, this was one of the government measures of helping that driver shortage. They got rid of the car and trailer tests to get free up more space for HGV tests, and they also put the reverse and the uncouple test called a 3A test now. That can be done with a training school. So for example, if person A trains up a student, person B can then test that student at a centre that's not necessarily the test centre. So if they have an area at the training school that's been approved, the test can be done there with another instructor rather than at the DVSA test centre with an examiner like how it used to be. So apparently 11,197 more tests have taken place due to these changes. DVSA have also recruited more examiners to help more vocational tests available in the areas where demand is the highest. And according to the government, the sector has started to recover and industry bodies are reporting positively on the number of HGV drivers stabilising. There's also been government boot camps that have allowed people to get funding for their HGV training, for their ADR and so on. There's lots of other articles and bits and bobs in this magazine and you can also download the previous issues. Now the app I'm using is called Readly and I highly recommend this app to you because it's space saving. You can get it on your phone or your iPad. I'm just using my iPad here, my tablet. You can download the magazines for offline use so you don't need a signal. If you're doing nights out or whatever and you don't have a good signal, it's perfect for that. There are also, as well as magazines, we can see here, there's podcasts. And there's also newspapers. And in magazines, there's plenty of categories. You'll definitely find something that you like. So there's plenty on here. And for one simple monthly subscription, you get access to all of these magazines, newspapers, podcasts that are on here. So if you're interested in Readly, check out the link in the description. With my link, you get two months free and you can cancel any time. Anyway, why am I talking about all of this stuff? Well, as you know, I've gone back into teaching, not teaching school kids. I finally found a company willing to give me a chance as a HGV instructor. And I took out my first two students last week. So I'm really, really proud to, to have been given this opportunity. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really proud and I wanted to share with you because I keep getting comments, you'd make a great instructor. But in the meantime, I'm going through the approval process of being an instructor to teach the ADR course. So the dangerous goods course. I'm 90% of the way through the approval process of that. I actually teach my first ADR week, my first class, next week on Monday. So 
This video is going to go live on October 29th. That will be my birthday, so it's a nice way to celebrate. But yeah, that following Monday, I'll be teaching my first ADR course. And if you haven't seen my previous video, big announcement coming soon. I did include a lot of clips there from the three years I've been driving. Um, I did mention quite a few times that I wanted to progress in the future to transport manager, which I have my qualification now. I'm just looking for the right company to be a transport manager. I said I'd want to progress to teach ADR. And I'm 90% of the way there now. And I said that I would like to be a HGV instructor one day, maybe. And I've done it now, so I'm really happy. Uh, I've actually taken a student out this morning who recognised me straight away from YouTube, which is a bit weird to me because I'm just like a normal person doing my job and people are like, oh, I know you. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I'm just over the moon. I'm so happy that I've been able to get there and uh, achieve those goals I set myself early on in my new career of HGV driving. I'm also going to be doing a Dangerous Good Safety Advisor course very soon. So I'm really excited about that. And I'll hopefully eventually move on to teaching that course and teaching the Transport Manager course one day in the future. I'm still driving occasionally, as and when these opportunities come my way. And I also want to say a massive thank you for 16,500 subscribers. Now, in my last video, you saw clips of me thanking you for 500 subscribers and 5,000 subscribers. And now I have 16,500 of you subscribed and interested in what I've got to say. So, yeah, thank you. Big love to you all. Mwah. And I know a lot of you have been there from the start as well. So a uh, big shout out to you guys that have followed me all the way through my journey. So, yeah, I've gone back into teaching, but teaching dangerous goods ADR and teaching HGV driving now. So I'm still going to be vlogging when I can. But of course, I have to put my new job opportunities first at the moment. So once everything gets settled, I'll see what I can do about getting some vlogs filmed. So, yeah, that's it then. That's my big announcement. So, of course, if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned with me and my adventures, then you can subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.